on your internal dictionaries and let's get things buzzing. Discombobulated. I'm sorry. Can you give me the definition? May I have a sausage? Language of Asian. S A A Z. Absolutely right. T H R O P Y. Brilliant spelling. If you spell this word correctly, you will win today's semi final. So the other day, I heard a funny story about computers and words. In 1945, computer pioneer Grace Hopper was hard at work programming the legendary Harvard Mark II computer. However, that day, her engineers just couldn't start the computer's mainframe. Try as they may, it would not power up. Grace Hopper then decided to check the circuits, and there she found a moth stuck to a tube. She then turned to her engineer and said, Hey, there's a bug in our computer. And that is how the word bug came to mean small malfunctions in hardware or software. Of course, some stories go that the word bug actually means monster. And that's why we have words like bugaboo, bugbear, and even the bogeyman. It's quite the mystery. Maybe one day our super spellers will debug the myths around this bugging word. Welcome to the third semi-final of Classmate Spell B Season 8, India's largest spelling competition, presented by Classmate, one of India's leading stationary brands, powered by the Times of India. This is an initiative by Radio Mirji. The theme for the competition this season is every child is unique and so is every word. Classmate endeavors to recognize, nurture and celebrate the uniqueness of every child with an equally unique and world-class range of stationary products such as notebooks, pens, pencils, math instruments and art stationery. And now, let's say hello to our lexicon champions for the day. Let's welcome Samya Verma from Delhi Public School in Rohini. Matthew Peter Tharapal from Vikas, the concept school in Hyderabad. Rakshit Srikant from National Hillview Public School, Bengaluru. And Praveen Kumar Singh from Nalanda School in Kota. Welcome celebrities and congratulations on being among the country's top spellers, selected from over 3 lakh students from more than 950 schools across 30 cities. This season, Classmate and Radio Mirchi began their hunt for India's ace speller with a massive on-ground school contact program that extended over radio, television and online media including Facebook, YouTube, a dedicated website and a special mobile app. Only the finest spellers made it through. This season, we also have something for all the spelling wizards watching this show at home. If you think you have what it takes to beat the country's top 16 spellers, download the Classmate Spell B mobile app from Google Store or iTunes for free and play this episode of the competition live on your phone to win some spelltastic prizes. Like always, we've given our spellers the option to ask for a little help during the first two rounds with the Classmate Connect option. So, if at any point in round one or round two you're in doubt, you can ask me, I will then connect you with the classmates who will have 30 seconds to confer and then spell out the word. You can then choose to accept or reject that spelling. The classmates today are stars of previous Spell B competitions. The runner-up of last year's Spell B, Mukund Chaudhary from Krishna Public School in Raipur. And national finalist in season six, Esther David from the Cathedral and John Connon School in Mumbai. Contestants, Unfortunately, only one of you can win today's semi-final. The speller who wins will get a cash prize of 50,000 rupees, courtesy classmate, a beautiful trophy and a place in the final round of Classmate Spell B Season 8. So, turn on your internal dictionaries and let's get things buzzing. Contestants, we're all set to start our third semi-final. Good luck to all four of you. We'll begin with round one. Let me remind you what the rules of round one are. I will ask each of you to spell four words, each worth ten points. You can, of course, ask me for clues. Those clues are the definition of the word, part of speech, usage in a sentence, and language of origin. The three highest scorers at the end of round one will go through to round two. If we have a tie, the speller who has not used their classmate connect option will automatically go through to round two. If we do not have a clear decision, then we will have a sudden death tie-breaking round on the buzzer. Good luck. Without any further ado, let's call our first speller to the stage. Let's welcome Samya Verma from DPS Rohini in Delhi. My favorite subjects are English and social studies. I like writing stories and poetry. I also love reading. 
The word I like most in English is Sizura, which means a pause in a verse. The spelling of Sizura is C A E S U R A. I share a special bond with my grandfather who got me interested in spellings after seeing my interest for the language and I hope to make him proud in this competition. Hi Samia. Hello mom. How are you feeling? I am feeling nervous. It's your first time on a competition like this. Yes. And who's with you today? My mom is here and my dad is there and my brother. Oh, so you have lots of support today. Yes. Wonderful. And apart from spelling, is there something else you enjoy doing? Yeah, I like playing chess and I'm good at calligraphy. Oh, lovely. Lots of wonderful skills. So all the best, Samia. Thank Four you. Four words to spell in round 1, each worth 10 points. Your first word is cloister. May I know the meaning? A covered walk in a convent, monastery, college or cathedral. Cloister. That is correct. C L O I S T E R. You're absolutely right. It's nice to see you smiling. <laughs> Let's hope this continues. Your second word also for 10 points. Antiquing. Antiquing. That is correct. May I know the meaning? Making something resemble an antique by artificial means. Um A N T I Q U I N G antiquing. That is absolutely right. Well done. You're off to a good start. Halfway through round 1 already. Your third word Canoris. Uh, language of origin? Latin. C A N O R O U S. You're right. Oh, very well done. You have only one word left to spell in round one, and if you spell this word correctly, you will have a perfect score of forty points. That word is discombobulated. I'm sorry. Discombobulated. Oh, what's the meaning? Disconcerted or confused. Discombobulated. That is correct. Dis D I S C O M B O B U L A T E D. Absolutely right. It's a long word, but you spelt it very confidently, and I'm very happy to tell you, Samia. At the end of round one, you have a perfect score of 40 points. Well done. Let's welcome now our second contestant. From Vikas, the Concept School in Hyderabad. Let's welcome Matthew. Since the age of five, I have been learning to play the piano. Of late, I have also started to learn the tabla. I am very much inspired by Ustad Zakir Hussain, and I want to pursue my career in music. Apart from music, cooking interests me. My favorite culinary-related term is bouillabaisse. It is spelled. B O U I L L A B A I S S E For me spelling is fun and at times it's crazy It's a very nice game and today in classmate spell B season 8 I'm ready to play Hi Matthew Hi how are you I'm fine Is it your first time on a competition like this No I've been to some other spell bees on state level What did you think of Samia's words in round 1 Great. Great. Very nice. Yeah. You could spell them? Most of them. Who's here with you today? My dad. Your father's here? Yeah. Welcome, sir. <laughs> Did he help you study? Yes. Yes. He's the one who helped me. What fun. And what else do you enjoy doing? I believe your music. Musically talented. Yeah. And you play the piano. Yeah. I've been learning for 8 years since the age of 5. Wow. I learned for 8 years and all I could play was Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> Can you do better than that? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> All the best Matthew. Yeah. We'll begin round 1. Four words to spell, each worth 10 points. Yeah. Your first word is Finnish. Can you give me the definition? A language spoken largely in Finland and parts of Russia and Sweden. F I N N I S H. Finnish. Absolutely right. Well done. Your second word also for 10 points a quest a quest can you use it in a sentence medieval princes rarely minded being ignored in family wills since seizure by a quest was always an option a c q u e s t 
a quest. That is correct. You took a pause there and my heart skipped a beat. I thought you'd lost yourself. Were you sure? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, kind of. I was thinking. You were kind of absolutely yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> You're halfway through. Two words remain. Your third word for 10 points is four. Four. That is correct. And the meaning? Something made in imitation, artificial. F E A U. I'm afraid that's incorrect. Okay. The accurate spelling is F A U X. Like many French words. <laughs> I'm afraid we cannot give you points for yeah, that, yeah. but you're still doing very well, and you have one word left to spell in round one that could take your total up to 30 points. That word is defenestrate. Defenestrate. Can you give me the definition? To throw someone out of a window. Can you use it in a sentence? I can. Their hostile fights usually ended with them trying to defenestrate each other from the ground floor dormitory. D E F E N E S T R A T E. Well done! Again, you took one of those pauses in the middle of the word and I got nervous for you, but you've done very well. At the end of round one, Matthew, you have a total of 30 points. Well played. We're halfway through round one. Samia currently has a perfect score of 40 points. Matthew's not far behind on 30 points. Before we go on a break, I have one thing to say. Hippopotamonstros sesquipedalophobia. Did you get that? Hippopotamonstros sesquipedalophobia. What does this whopping word mean? Find out after the break. You're watching Classmates Spell B Season 8, powered by The Times of India. Classmates Bell B Season 8, presented by Classmate, powered by the Times of India. This is an initiative by Radio Mirti. So before the break, I'd ask you the meaning of the word hippopotamus.